Are you struggling and feeling like a little bit lost as to where you should even start with making notes in medical school? Damn, there is just so much freaking information thrown at you in the first week of university. What you need is something efficient. You need to start using OneNote. And here's why. It was honestly a life changer for me. Right, before I tell you that though, I just want to make sure that this is the take home message. You need to be consistent. You need to develop a system that works just for you. Some people prefer handwritten notes, some people prefer writing on the computer, the tablet, and if you're a Gen Z, I know you are, then you're probably gonna be using this anyway and OneNote is perfect for writing digital notes. But more about that later. You need to develop a system that works for you that you're comfortable with, something that you can quickly write notes accurately and yeah, you've guessed it, consistently because once you've started medical school or any uni degree or course for that matter things just get thrown at you from multiple directions there's just so many freaking things to think about trust me if you don't have an organized system the workload is just going to keep piling up it will just get more and more overwhelming if you don't have a good system to start off with if you're hoping to learn how to manage your time efficiently while you're in medical school you should check out this video here. But anyway, I used the OneNote app for my main note taking tool while I was in med school and it worked superbly for me and for a lot of people in my class. So what is OneNote? OneNote is a digital note taking tool that is part of the Microsoft Office suite. Like it's just such a versatile note taking tool and I love it and it's very simple to use, trust me. So you can download it for free um, either from the App Store or from just OneNote.com and you can download it onto your laptop. It works super well in Windows. My colleagues in my class at the time with their MacBooks and their iPads and whatnot, they thought that the OneNote worked really well on that as well. I've not heard any complaints whatsoever and I would say like probably three quarters of my classmates in med school were actually using OneNote. These are the nine things that I use OneNote for in medical school when I'm taking notes. Number one is to create notebooks. So OneNote allows you to create notebooks for different papers or subjects of your course. So in medicine, like I create a notebook for every single academic year of medical school. Because medicine is a six year degree, then it's important that every single year of your notes is actually in one place. Because the thing is with medicine, that you don't learn it and then forget it like that doesn't work that way so in second year you learn about something right and then in third year you are actually required to go back into second year to use those basic sort of building blocks of what you've learned and apply it in third year so it's important that you have everything in one place and it's just really easy for you to search for it when you need it like even now as a third year doctor I sometimes still go back into my OneNote app to look for like really specific answers for something that I know I've learned before I just wanted to double check like what the evidence and stuff behind that is and because everything is linked together under one topic like it's super easy just to go onto OneNote and find that immediately and now I'll, I'll let you know what I mean by linked a bit later so keep watching because that is an amazing feature that OneNote offers. Number two OneNote allows you to create sections and subsections and pages so within each notebook you can go ahead and create a section or a subsection in each paper for your specific subjects. So for med school examples of these sections would be something like neurology and then within the neurology section I will create pages that are for specific conditions of neurology. So this is a really good way of structuring your notes instead of having it in chronological order like lecture 1, lecture 2, 3, 4, 5. It makes it really hard to revise your notes later on when they're not structured properly under things that are relevant to the topic. 
Number three, you can create master pages that link ideas together. So this is the way that you can strengthen your knowledge around a topic holistically, which is also called the Hibbian theory, which basically means neurons that fire together, wire together. Like once you learn about one thing and you connect it to similar ideas around the same topic, you're more likely to remember and understand that concept a bit better. Okay, so in med school, for each condition, I can create a master page for that. For example, let's talk about acute coronary syndrome. I want to not only learn what it means, I also want to learn about the anatomy of the coronary vessels that can cause coronary artery disease, the pathophysiology of how a heart attack occurs, like atherosclerosis, and then how a plaque forms, and then what happens when an event does occur, what triggers that. So that's pathophysiology. And I also want to learn about how I can interpret an ECG to tell that the heart attack has happened, a STEMI versus a non-STEMI. And then I also want to learn about the pharmacology, about how to treat these diseases and what the prognosis is. So look, as you can see, there are so many components to this one condition, but the thing about medicine is that none of these can be taught in depth in one lecture. So therefore, this is more likely that different parts of these topics are being taught by different lecturers. Like a physiology lecturer will tell me about how to interpret an ECG. An anatomy lecture will tell me about the structure of the heart. But your job is to bring together all those ideas and put it in one place so that you are allowing yourself to learn about all these things that you need in order to properly understand acute coronary syndrome. And you can do this quite easily on OneNote. So on OneNote, the thing is you can link out to specific pages that you've written already, like those notes. You just link it out to them and you can also link out to external links like PDFs or lecture notes or a specific YouTube video that you wanted yourself to sort of look at if you want more in-depth information. Number four, OneNote allows you to take notes in a variety of format. So there's text and you can put in images, you can even do your own handwriting and hand drawing if you've got a tablet, auto recording and you can embed video files straight from YouTube into your note and then you can just like click play in the note itself. You don't need to go onto the browser to be able to watch the video again. Number five, and this is my absolute favorite way of using OneNote, and that is to be able to annotate documents. So this is how I take notes while in medical school in lectures. So I would go onto the computer, download the lecture slide and the PDF or the PowerPoint form into OneNote and then I take it to my lecture and that's where I actually annotate on those lecture slides online while the lecturer is talking because honestly there's just no time to write like a proper set of notes while you're in the lecture while the lecturer is like trying to go through heaps and heaps of content so the best thing you can do for yourself is just to be prepared for the lecture by having the lecture slides in your fingertips and annotating it as you go and OneNote is great for that but the important part is this after the lecture and after I've annotated everything digitally, I have to come home and then look at all the information that I've documented on the lecture slide. I then have to consolidate and summarize the lecture into a few paragraphs. Or either that, I would draw a wee mind map or a little table that summarizes everything from the slides next to those PowerPoint slides in my OneNote app. That way it's a lot easier for you to revise that information when you come back to it. Because like honestly, you just need to make studying a lot easier for yourself. Because like you don't want to be scrolling through a hundreds of slides to find pertinent information that can just be summarized in a few paragraphs, right? Number six, you can access your notes from everywhere. OneNote is cloud-based, which means that you can access it from any device that you've got as long as it's got internet connection or even with that internet connection you can download it as well but with internet connection it means that everything that 
your writing is synced to each other. For example, I don't have to write my notes on the laptop on the app specifically for it to be stored forever. I would still be able to write my notes on my phone and it will be synced to my laptop. The best thing about this feature is if I've got pieces of worksheets or paper in front of me in, for example, tutorial class and I didn't bring my laptop, if I don't have like the digital format of it, for example, then what I could do is use my phone, just scan the document or take a photo of it and then I can upload it straight onto OneNote where everything is in one place. It's so good. And a useful place that I use this is also in when I'm looking at textbooks and I find like a really nice diagram that I can't find in the lecture slides, then same thing, I'll take a photo of it and chuck it onto OneNote. Number seven, you won't lose your notes ever. I used to have the downloaded app on my laptop because I used it every single day and it was like my life like <laughs> pretty much but now that I'm a doctor to save space on my laptop I've deleted the OneNote app off my computer but the thing is I can just jump onto OneNote.com log in and everything is on there on the web browser. Number eight OneNote has an easy search bar so this is super super life-saving because instead of having to look through like six years worth of paper notes you can just type Type in, what should I say, acute coronary syndrome on your OneNote app and every single thing that's related to that keyword would just pop up and you can easily access those files. Number nine, you can collaborate with your classmates. OneNote allows you to share your notebooks with your classmates and you can work on the same document together in real time, which is pretty cool. In medical school, resources is king. And once everyone's gotten onto the program together, like you kind of just need to look out for each other because it is a pretty difficult course. And if you find that this information is helpful for you, make sure that you are hitting that like button and subscribe, turn on the notification if you're looking for ways to stay productive and efficient in medical school, you should check out this playlist next.